Hey guys, Tindy here again with another tech review for you guys. Um, essentially, I participated in a Kickstarter project which was called Cuckoo. So it's this watch um, which connects to an iPhone or Android device. At the moment, there's only an iPhone application at the time that I'm recording this. And it comes in this awesome little house, um, which is essentially Cuckoo's house. And I was going to do an unboxing, but I got a little bit impatient and kind of didn't. So just to give you a quick rundown of what's in the box, um, there is an instruction set. Um, there is the housing that it comes in and a thing that it was sitting on. And then apparently what you can do is you can take the uh, middle plate out and take the sticker off this. Um, let's just refocus here and take the sticker off this and you can see that there's in the middle there's a little uh, entrance for it to become a birdhouse so I'm just going to pop that aside for the moment So let's have a quick look at the watch. Um, the watch is simplistic in its nature in terms of that it has a light button, which shows up there. It has a connect button off to the side here. There is a mode button up the top here. And there is a, um, what do they call it? It's a command button. That's what it is. And so this hooks up to the iPhone, so I'm just going to grab the iPhone here and slide to unlock. And on here you can see I've got the Cuckoo application, so I'm just going to open this up. And devices wise, I've got Tenti's Cuckoo. Now, there's some cool things that you can do with this. So I'm going to hit Features and use the watch. And I'm going to show you uh, the different commands that can come up on the watch. Alright, so these are the different commands that we can actually apply. So, I'm going to go simple alert. And you can get SMSs. You can see the little blinky SMS there. I can go email. There's the little email one. Clear that all. Uh, I've got voicemail. Oop, which is hidden because it's the, uh, there he is. I can say news, which is the same one. Uh, a schedule. A missed call is the same. High priority. It says a little message thing there. Uh, missed call is, there you go. It tells you I've got a missed call. Uh, I have an instant message, which shows you the message and a thing. And obviously, I have an alarm as well. And that's the alarm. Nope. Alarm notification. There it is flashing up in the top right hand corner. Um, you have battery commands. So if I say there's 20% left, you can see a little icon. I've got 99%. And I've got a 10% battery icon. Um, and that's essentially the watch in its most simplistic nature. Uh, if the battery in the watch dies for any particular reason, it will continue to function as a watch because there's actually two batteries in the watch. So it's quite nice that way. So let's see the other stuff that we can do with the watch. So at the moment, I've got my iPhone sitting here. Um, we have a camera view as well. So right now it's uh, pointed up, but I can hit the mode button and it will trigger the camera. So just to show you again, no trickery, there's the camera there, I'm going to hit the mode button on there, and it takes a little while, but sometimes it... There we go, there's my ugly mug and my camera in the picture there, and I'm just going to say retake, because I don't want to use that one. Um, and you can use it to record and, and play and, and uh, switch from the front facing camera to the back facing camera as well, so there you go. Um, the other cool things that you can do with the application, there's my ugly mug there, um, 
you can actually go into the features and there's your uh, low battery warning level indicator and you can say alert for that you can say critical battery level indicator and there's an alert for that and there's our other notifications for incoming call, missed call, Facebook post, Facebook message etc and there's some cool things about some actions so I've got a short press a medium press and a long press and essentially what you can do is you can do different things within the application. So a short press drops a pin at the moment, and this is by default. A longer press finds my iPhone, and a, sorry, a medium press finds my iPhone, and a long press will run a Facebook check-in. Um, I can actually tap the button, and it will drop a pin where it thinks I am. Um, you should see my phone ring. There it is. Um, and you'll see straight away that the indicator on the watch shows a little missed call icon. So that shows you a quick demo of how the watch actually functions, which is awesome. Anyway, I have hopefully shown you the features of the Cuckoo watch. Um, I hope to be doing a follow-up video to show you, or to tell you my thoughts on how it actually functions in practical sense and we'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching bye